Hey, what's up? It's Swamp. Back for another tutorial. Okay, and this is what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to use the object array and the object getter. So, first thing we need to do is grab an object. So, I'm going to grab a primitive shape, grab the sphere, set it down, and what we're going to do first is color it. So, let's just make it black, bring a mission up. Alright, so I'm going to copy these. Copy this five times so we have six total spheres. Alright, so now let's grab an object array. Now what an array is usually under data sources, object array. What an array usually is, in programming an array is a variable usually that contains a lot of other information, uh, many variables, and they're, they're separated by index numbers. And so how we're going to do this, this works the same way. So select your target objects, and it's going to assign them index numbers when you select them. It goes in the order that you select them. So you see they have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the index numbers for these objects in this object array. Okay, so now let's grab our getter, object getter. And we have to connect this to the array. So select an object array is going to be this array. And now this index number is cor going to correspond to the object. So 0 will be this first sphere. So let me give you an example of that. So let's use a color event. So we'll grab a color event, set it up, we'll make our color red, and our target is going to be the object getter. Now we need to send an impulse to that color event. So let's grab an interval trigger. We're going to open it up and set the interval to one tick every frame. We're going to disable after one count and send that to the color event. Now see when we hit play it makes the first zero object of the array red. So you can change this color in the object, I mean the number in the object getter. Let's go to two and you see it colors the third object in the array. Object arrays always start with zero with the first object and it goes to five or however many there are, however many things you put in there. But this works for uh, most events. You can use an object position event with this. You can use a, let me just grab an object position event real quick. Object position event. And we could just make it move the X position a little bit. Then the target is going to be the getter. And we'll send our impulse to the object position event now instead of the color event and you see that the second object, well the third object, second index object in the array moves from the object position event moving it. You can always also, sorry, you can also use these for event effects. So let's grab some explosions. Let's grab a C4 explosion and you see you could put three explosions in. I'm just going to use three select our reselect I cleared out the array and I'm going to reselect these three explosions and now we can send an explosion event or a effect event I should say we can send an effect event to the object getter so the target would be there and the effect is on and now we send our impulse to the effect event and what's our index number needs to be two so okay so that's going to be the second this last explosion because it's zero one two and if you zoom in you can see the zero one there it is it comes on top of the text all right so and you see now when you hit play it goes to the the third object in the array which is the second index object which gets confusing but you just gotta remember to start with zero so that's pretty much how you use it you use the array for a central location for many objects and you target them through the getter using the index number alright so uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like